Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We have two discrete time systems. In the first system, we have a discrete time signal X that is the input to a down sampler followed by an up sampler. In the second system, the up sampler comes first, followed by the down sampler. We want to study the equivalence between these two systems. Are they equivalent? In other words, will the two systems produce the same output for the same input? Let's first write down the mathematical description of each system. In the first system here, we have X, that's the input to the down sampler. Let's call this intermediate discrete time signal Y. Y of N is equal to X of big M times small n. We know that the down sampler keeps the samples in the input signal X that occur at the integer multiples of big M. So Y of N is X of big M N. And of course, is an integer that is greater than or equal to 2. Signal Y is fed to an up sampler to produce Z. Z of N is Y of N over L if N is a multiple of L. In other words, if L is a divisor of N. The output Z of N is 0 if L does not divide N, if N is not a multiple of L. This is the relationship between Z and Y. Signal Z has a sample from signal Y followed by L minus one zeros, then another sample followed by L minus one zeros and so forth. To describe the overall system, to write down a relation between Z and X, we know that Y of N is X of M N. So Z of N is X of M N over L. This is if a small N is a multiple of big L, which is another integer that is greater than or equal to two. Otherwise, Z of N is equal to zero. This is the system in which we swap the two blocks. We have the up sampler first. The intermediate signal W of N is X of N over L if L divides N. Otherwise, W of N is zero. W is fed to the down sampler and U of small N is W of big M times small N. If we want to express signal U in terms of X, we have here equal to X of M N over L. If L divides M N, zero if L does not divide M N. For the same input, let's examine the outputs of both systems if small n is an integer multiple of L. In the first system, L divides n, so we are here, and Z of n is X of m n over L. n now is divisible by L. It is equal to VL, where V is an integer. So this is X of VN. If we look at the second system, if n is equal to VL, then L divides m n. And the output is X of M V L over L. That is X of V M exactly like the first system. For the same input signal, if we examine the outputs of both systems at time instants that are multiples of big L, the two systems are producing the exact same output. Specifically, if N is equal to V L, the first and second systems produce X of V M. What if N is not a multiple of big L? In this case, we will write N as V L, where V is an integer, but now there is plus eta. Eta is an integer between one and L minus one. The output of the first system is straightforward. If N is not a multiple of L, if L does not divide M, the output is exactly equal to zero. For this system to be equivalent to that system, we need also an output of zero. What is the output? U of N. Now we write N as VL plus eta. Eta is an integer in this set from one to big L minus one. And U of VL plus eta is W of VL plus eta all times M. So VLM plus eta M. We want this output to be equal to zero. Note that if eta M is divisible by L, then what we have here is VLM plus something that is divisible by L. This time instant is divisible by L. And the output is generally not equal to zero. It will be equal to one of the X samples. We want to prevent this quantity here from being a multiple of big L so that we have an output that is equal to zero. U of n is equal to zero, which means that it is equal to Z of n if and only if L does not divide eta m. And this statement should be true for every eta that is in the set from one to L minus one. Let's consider the first case. What if the greatest common divisor of L and m is strictly greater than one? So the greatest common divisor is two or more. In this case, L divided by the GCD, the greatest common divisor of L and M. Now this guy in the denominator is two or more. So this is an integer 
this is a positive integer that is strictly less than L. This is a number that is in this set. If eta assumes this particular value, if eta is equal to L over the GCD of L and M, then let's see. What about eta M? Eta M is L M divided by the GCD of L and M. In another way, this is L times M over the GCD of L and M. This is a divisor of M. So M over this GCD is an integer. So eta M is a multiple of L. If eta M is a multiple of L, then W of VLM plus eta M is divisible by L. In this case, the output of the system is X of VM plus eta M over L, which is generally not equal to zero. What is the conclusion? If the GCD of L and M is greater than one, the two systems are not equivalent in the sense that for the same input, one system will give an output that differs from the other system. For equivalence, we need for every input, the output is the same at all instants of time. If the GCD of L and M is greater than one, in this case, downsampling and upsampling do not commute. Interchanging the order of these two blocks will result in a different system. Our second case is when L and M are co-prime, so the GCD of L and M is one. Let's write L as the GCD of L and eta. Recall that eta is a number between one all the way to L minus one. L is the GCD of L and eta times some integer alpha. Eta is the GCD of L and eta times integer beta. Then the GCD of alpha and beta is equal to one. Note that since positive integer eta is strictly less than L, then this GCD is strictly less than L. L is equal to this integer, which is strictly less than L times alpha. So alpha must be strictly greater than one. The GCD of L and M is assumed to be equal to one. Alpha is a factor or a divisor of L. This implies that the GCD of alpha and M is equal to one. Let's examine the divisibility of eta M by L. Using this, we can write eta divided by L as beta over alpha. And then we have M here. Alpha is an integer that is strictly greater than one. The GCD of alpha and beta is equal to one. There is no common factor between alpha and beta except one. Moreover, the GCD of alpha and M, because alpha is a factor of L and L and M are assumed to be co-prime, this is also equal to one. These three statements mean that eta M over L, which is beta M over alpha, is not an integer. Eta M is not divisible by L. Because eta M is not divisible by L, this argument of W is not divisible by L. Then the output is zero. The two systems now produce the same output. The conclusion is that if the GCD of L and M is one, if L and M are relatively prime, then in fact, for any given input, the two systems will produce the same output at all instants of time. So that N is equal to UN for every integer N. The final conclusion is that the two systems are equivalent. Having an upsampler followed by downsampler is equivalent to having the downsampler first if and only if L and M are relatively prime. That is, if the GCD of L and M is equal to one.